Dear students, in this video, we will have an overview of the context of the planning school. The, by the context of the planning school, we mean that uh, what are those situations in which the planning school can be implemented or for can be used for the strategic management process. There are multiple contexts in which uh, the planning school can be used. So we will see one by one what are those uh, contexts and we will explain it. Number one situation is the environment, uh, organizational environment should be stable. By this we mean that our, the organization in the environment of the organization is stable, not only stable, but also it's predictable. So at least it should be predictable uh, for the organization. And uh, this includes the internal organizational environment and external environment as well. So in this uh, uh, condition, we assume that there are Mm, lot of information available to the CEO of organization, but that information should not be changeable, which means that the environment in which an organization is operating is stable, predictable, and information is not changeable. Second thing is the organizational environment should be controllable. This includes the internal organization uh, environment and external organizational environment. Usually, the external organizational environment is not controllable. This uh, assumption is telling us that we uh, the planning school is more concerned about the internal uh, environment of the organization while uh, taking it uh, the first point that which says that organizational environment should be stable or at least predictable this the second point is more concerned with the internal environment which says that all of the changes are uh, not only predictable but are also controllable the contributions of the planning school are the important vocabulary development. This school also tells us that what are the formalization processes and what are uh, those processes through which we should go through to implement the strategy. This, um, although this is also a prescriptive uh, school of thought, which means that it tells us that what should be the strategy how the strategy should be formulated. So it provides us a basic framework for upcoming um, schools of thought and it provides us a basic model and it tells us uh, that what should be included, what should be the ingredient of uh, the, uh, in the strategy which in the planning. And the second is the idea to formalize the process as we have already discussed in the premises and the foundations of this school that this school basically formalize whole the process. It not all, only conceives the idea, but it tells us that how to formalize all of the process, uh, that is the planning process, to go through and to make the uh, organization strategy.